Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy and sleep medicine at Children's Chest Clinic, New Delhi. Now wheezing is quite common in children, especially less than five years of age. But some children tend to get repeated episodes of wheezing. In few of these children, the diagnosis might be worrisome or might be having an alternate diagnosis which needs further evaluation and treatment. So in this video, we'll talk about what are the causes of wheezing in children? What are the causes of wheezing in children who have frequent episodes and what needs to be done? Now wheezing is something which is extremely common in children, especially below the age of three years. Now, as we know, almost 30% of children below the age of three years will get at least one episode of wheezing. The usual causes are viral infections like an RSV or a rhinovirus infection. This usually leads to an episode of fever, cough, cold, and might be followed by an episode of fast breathing, difficulty in breathing and wheezing. These episodes are usually short lasting for a period of approximately one to two weeks and then the child gets better. Now some children get frequent episodes of wheezing. The most important cause of frequent episodes of wheezing in young children is wheeze associated respiratory infections. So some children have a tendency to get wheezy and whenever they get a viral infection, they start wheezing. Some of these children will go on to develop asthma in later life. But few of these children can have other diagnoses apart from these associated infections or asthma. These could be gastroesophageal reflux disease, where the acid from the tummy goes up into the food pipe and can go into the lungs. They can be a foreign particle or a foreign body inside the lungs, like a piece of a peanut or an almond and so on. Children sometimes can have problems of genetic origin like cystic fibrosis or a primary ciliary dyskinesia. There can be problems of compression or pressure on the airways from outside because of a blood vessel called as a vascular airway compression or sometimes because of a lymph node. There could be diagnoses like tuberculosis, adenoid hypertrophy or sinusitis, which can also present in a similar way. So what are the underlying clues which we get, which can help us to understand that this baby might be having an underlying problem? Now these clues could be in the form of not gaining proper weight or a failure to thrive, having loose stools, bulky, frothy, greasy stools, children having frequent episodes and getting sick and getting admitted to a hospital, children getting admitted to an ICU, children less than six months of age having frequent episodes of wheezing but also possibly having an underlying serious problem. Now, children who do not respond to the usual medicines which we give for uh, treatment of wheezing also should be considered for having an alternate diagnosis. Now, if you have a child who possibly has these clues, then what investigations need to be done? Now, usually we start with a detailed history and a, and a physical examination and we would like to see all the old investigations including any x-rays if they are available. Now some children might require further investigations. Now because all these investigations are specialized investigations, they are decided on a case to case basis. These could be in the form of examination of the airways from inside known as a bronchoscopy, a CT scan of the chest, echocardiography, sweat chloride test or further genetic testing, 
and might be in the form of a gastroesophageal reflux cap. So if your child or if your baby is having frequent episodes of wheezing or breathing issues and they have any clues which are suggesting an underlying problem, you need to get in touch with a pediatric pulmonologist for evaluation, guidance, investigations and further treatment. Thank you.